Namah Arun. Welcome. My name is Mvula and I am a traditional healer. And welcome to my channel, Gentle Rain Traditional Healing. So what I would like to do today is I would like to talk to you about Muti. I've been asked by the McGregor Magic uh, Festival and the Garden Club in McGregor to do a talk and share my experience along the lines of medicines, plant medicines. And I thought an interesting to topic would be to discuss the Muti qualities of our traditional medicines. So last year I did a walk around a curated garden where I shared a lot of these insights with people. And what I noticed was that people seem to be more interested in the metaphysical side of the plants than the phytochemicals. So what I would like to do is I would like to expand more on the moody side of the plants and just share a little insight into the, the world of Muti. So this is my Ndumba. This is where I practice. Um, this is my traditional clothes. And so I would say that you are my patient. So what I would experience and share with you is how I use Muti to treat people. So one of the first things I'll do is I'll get you on your knees and I would light some Mpepu. Some Mpepu is Heliochrysum Mpetiolare. Okay, and Mpepu means little breeze because of this, because of the smoke. So this connects us to our ancestors. It is such a beautiful medicine and it is so integral to the traditional practice in South Africa that it is one of the sacred medicines that most traditional healers have in their stock. I would say everybody who is a traditional healer has Mpepu. This is the calling medicine of the African shaman. The way they would use this is they would put a pot shard on the, on the hut floor or in the Ndumba floor in the, consult, the consulting room and they would light the Mpepu and invite the ancestors to come. Now the ancestors are drawn to the smoke. Some people say that they're like little cords or they're little ropes which pull the ancestors closer to us so that we're able to experience them. I, I really like that. I think that's very beautiful. And I've, I've seen that, actually. I've experienced it. I've experienced whenever I light in Pebu, I get a sense of the closeness of, of my ancestors. So, you know, I would say that I don't believe that. I see it. So it's a very important thing for me to lighten purple whenever I'm doing consultation with someone. Just so that everyone is close and I can draw everybody in and then, you know, we have a, an access of guidance and wisdom. It's very important. The other thing that we do is we normally administer medicine. Now, medicine in the strictest form is all the phytochemicals and all the uh, alkaloids and all of that stuff that makes the muti taste really bitter and awful. So what you don't see behind that is the intelligence of the plant. Now the intelligence of the plant is an idea that the plant has a personality. It has a way of accessing healing. It has a job. So a lot of people see a particular muti for a particular function. I'm like that. I, I see that. There are a lot of mutis that, have, that are called panaceas, and they are used for everything. Like Warburgia saturus, the pepper bark. Up in Zimbabwe, it's seen as a complete panacea. You can use it for anything and everything. It's fantastic. But down here in, in the Cape, um, 
and more in, in KZN, where it is, is native, we use it more specifically for a specific entity, for a being. Um, so you say, well, beings, okay, well, you know. Um, beings are an interesting concept, because if you, if you take a disease, it has a personality, doesn't it? It has a particular way of manifesting itself. So we could say that it has an intelligence behind it. This virus that we're dealing with right now, it has an intelligence behind it. Just think about what it attacks. Okay, so we've seen recently that it started causing blood clots. We've also seen that it attacks the lungs, the sore throat. Okay, the lungs are usually affected when we are dealing with a grief situation. So it has to do with grief. The sore throat has to do with our not being able to voice. So we're feeling trapped. We're feeling trapped in our grief. So <laughs> that's what the virus is telling us. You know, we are so lost in our separation from nature that we don't know where to go. We've lost our way to go back. We've lost our return. The two guardians have kicked us out of the Garden of Eden. We don't know where to go back. When actually, the most important thing is that we need courage to see that those guardians are actually keeping us safe. There is an upside to all of the muti and to all of the illnesses that we see. They all inspire us. They all teach us. So there is a lesson behind the illness. So what do you think the lesson behind arthritis is? Arthritis is, has to do with stiffness, okay, the swelling of the joints. But doesn't it belong to rigidity? So aren't we being more rigid than normal? Don't we find that we are harsh? That we've pulled away from Mother Earth? And Mother Earth is pulling us back. And the Earth Elementals are pulling us back, pulling us down, because they want to eat our vitality. And what's pulling us up? Our feelings of being better than. So, when you feel that you're better than someone else, or that you're worse for someone else than someone else, for that matter, then you lack humility. So when you ha lack humility, you give off the essence of disgust. When you give off the essence of disgust, a being comes down and eats your disgust, the impundulu. Now the impundulu is the being of depression. See? The impundulu eats your light and it casts a shadow over your head. So all you see is darkness. You don't see the light of your own sun anymore. Do you see? That's Muti. <laughs> so we use Plumbago to chase the Mbundulu away. And we use a plant called Suralia so that we can learn humility from the plants. So really, plant medicine is a teacher medicine. It's teaching us something. It's teaching us a virtue. It's teaching us some kind of coping skill. Muti is also a very interesting thing, um, you know, uh, psychologically. Because what we look at when we are experiencing depression or whatever is the psychological aspect of it. So, you know, are we looking at it from a Freud point of view? Are we looking at it from an Adler point of view? So is it survival or does it have to do with um, mommy or daddy issues? You know? But actually, you know, sure, those are complications. But Muti helps you to deal with those things in a more holistic way. So it takes into account your entire being not just a collective of collection of symptoms. 
so yes it is it is a psychological approach but also it's an emotional approach it's a spiritual approach it teaches you the virtue of being something of being humble of being courageous like the Wilder Als does so Wilder Als is one of the remedies that's being used a lot with this virus and it's no accident because viruses of this kind like the coronavirus they use uh, the energetic of cold and flu which is uh, not trusting yourself being less than and not being important and not cutting yourself some slack being overworked you know all of those things and actually what the Wilder Else does is it gives you an idea it gives you this idea of courage courage to face things courage to change courage to move on courage to feel something that you don't have the resources to feel anymore yeah it's a way of moving you over into another situation into a better one actually lifting your vibration so it's all about vibrational rate muti is very important and it's a way of us being able to gain the intelligence of the plants because we've lost that we've become self-centered we've become arrogant uh, we've become dull we've lost our humility we've lost our, our sight we can't see anymore we can't see the wood for the trees and so that's what Muti does Muti gives it back to us teaches us the more extreme versions of Muti would be the psychedelics so magic mushrooms for example they teach us that there is a soul in mother nature you experience it you know when you take them you really do you experience mother nature you experience what nature is what what the life of of the forest is it's incredible and to a lesser extent most plants do that too they give you a quality that you experience they lend it to you and so you can build it into yourself so that really is what traditional healing is about it's not about whether this chemical can be synthesized from this plant and used in a vaccine to create XYZ or this plant extracted and steeped in this and you know yes those are vectors that's a way of, of the plant getting into you but if you use the intelligence of the plant you ask the plant please can you help me with this and you know that the plant can do that then that makes all the difference it's a much more targeted approach and you are bound to get more healing from that so that's my two cents on plant medicine on muti so I've discussed helichrysum another beautiful medicine which is used for initiation of traditional healers is this stuff here that's ubalao silini I've got a whole bunch of roots here so that's what it looks like when it comes from the muti shop dried I'll show you what it looks like in the garden so if you'd like to follow me I'll take you to a, a few plants okay so here we go This is Silene. Silene belladoides. See, it's got a big leaf like this. It's kind of sticky, it's like a tobacco-like leaf. 
and it makes the most incredible white star-like flowers. Absolutely beautiful and they smell exquisite in the evening. I've got another one which is slightly smaller. That also grows in the in the bush, more in the shaded parts. And this is next to my hypoxis. So this is my African potato. Okay, and here we go. Here it is. Here is the Silene. So this Silene is what helps you develop your psychic abilities. It's a very, very beautiful plant. And the reason that it does that is because it's full of saponins, soap. So it washes your, your auric field, it washes your inner sight so that you can see clearly through into spirit. Another beautiful medicine, which is also a really extraordinary muti, is this one here. This is called Intelezi. So Intelezi is Zulu and it means magic plant. And this is used for auric cleansing. So what I often do is I give my students some of this to wash in. So they'll chop up a bulb and swish it around in the water and they'll wash and it itches like crazy. Now where it itches is very important because what it's doing is it's repairing the auric field. Okay, it creates a kind of a, uh, a plaster over the cracks. So when you are in the throes of psychic attack or you know you are in an abusive relationship or you know just have an interaction with someone that's not so nice your auric field can crack so you end up with little fissures and things can get in there so it's very important that they are sealed and you have this hermetically sealed dome that you walk around in very important for your health if you don't have that then you know all sorts of parasitic things can get in you know uh, you end up with ghosts and all sorts of stuff so this is a very important plant and it works very very well you get a few others you get the local one here this is our local albuca and the bulb is actually the size of this it's a massive guy and there's another baby that i've also rescued from the from the felt. They were left on the side of the road because someone had dug them out. Okay, there we go. This is the red one. There's another one here. They don't, they don't um, work at the same time as these white ones do. So they're sleeping now. So there you go. And there's a couple of magic plants. They work really nicely. So this is another magic plant. This is what I was talking about. This is courage. This is Wilder Aus. This gives you the courage to overcome things. Beautiful, beautiful medicine. Okay, so now we've got another plant here which helps with the Impundulu. This one. This is a Gasteria. It's a very, very, very important plant in Zulu medicine. This is usually planted on the top of your hut to stop it from being struck by lightning. So this is what stops the Impundulu landing on your house and causing chaos. Very important. And now this little guy here, this is very important. This is an aloe. But what's quite special about this little aloe is the folklore around it. So it is said that if you plant one of these, you need to be responsible for it. And you need to look after it incredibly carefully because this little guy literally has your life in its hands. So you kill this, then you are in trouble. And folklore says that if, if this dies, so do you. So it's very important. Either don't have one 
which is probably the safer option but if you do and um, you have it in your garden then you know look after it I don't know whether that's true or not specifically with that aloe um, I've killed one before accidentally and I'm still here so who knows you know folklore is folklore anyway so here we go this is a this is the heliochrysum this is the impepu the little breeze so this is a fantastic uh, medicine against uh, rickettsia tick bite fever so you'd make a tea of this and this would bring down your inflammation and um, this would help you with colds and flu too uh, it's brilliant antibacterial antiviral you name it I mean it's even being trialed for malaria so absolutely fantastic but the magic part of this is the little breeze the calling of the ancestors and if you have a look at the leaf I don't know if you can see it there we go see those little um, I don't know if that's focused or not there but anyway they're little threads that hold the leaves together they're fantastic fantastic little things and those those are what the smoke represents threads that hold the ancestors together that bring the ancestors close to you so last but not least this is one of my favorite plants and it grows pretty much everywhere around here in McGregor this is beautiful plumbago let me come into the light here so you can see them it's getting a bit dark here in the bottom of my garden and there you can kind of see the blue there we go so this beautiful plant also keeps away the impundulu this is a shield just like the gasteria it is a beautiful beautiful medicine to keep around you and like a like have a necklace or just keep a piece in your pocket and it will stop you from from getting depression so it keeps the impundulu away so there we go i think that's about it that's all we have time for really um yeah 23 minutes i think that's fine okay so thank you very much for being with us thank you for allowing me to share my medicines with you and if you like what you see then click subscribe below and have a beautiful day, my course.